You want to add your first product onto Shopify, but are overwhelmed with all of the options available? Well, let me guide you through the process. First of all, head over to your Shopify dashboard. If you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to the best free trial deal down below. Once you are right here, head over to the products tab on the left. Then click on add your product right here or on the top right. Make sure to click on add product and we are then going to have the option to add a title for a product. In this case, I'm just going to add a sweater as an example. We can then add our description and if you have no ideas on what to add here, you can actually also help yourself by using the AI features inside Shopify. So I'm just going to say relaxed fit made in USA fisherman knit. And then I'm going to generate this. We can then actually change the tone right here, but I'm just going to insert this. You can of course actually also format this. You can change the alignment. You can put in text as bold, italic, underline, or you can also add bullet lists right here or numbered lists and so on. Now, once you've added your description, the next step would be to add your media. This would be the images and videos displayed on your product. Make sure to click on upload new and upload your images. I've now uploaded my images. We can actually change the order inside here and we can then actually also add new images or new media right here if we want to. As for the pricing, right here we are going to have two different options. First of all, the normal price. This is going to be the price actually charged for your customers and then also a compared price. Now, if we would, for example, sell this knit at 69.90 and if we would set the compared price at 99.90, then it would actually show up that there is a sale going on then that the product is discounted from 99 bucks to 69 bucks okay so keep that in mind this compared price is going to be the sale price and you can then actually also add the cost per item if you want to this is just for organization purposes and of course no one expect you is going to see this as for the inventory you can then select if you want to track your quantity you can basically add the quantity of this product right here and you can also select if you want to continue selling when out of stock this for example does make sense if you are drop shipping a product or if you are selling a digital product. In my case, I'm just going to say that I do have 100 of these knits available and I'm not going to continue when selling out of stock. As for the shipping, right here we will have to actually add the weight of this product. Make sure to accurately add this as this will later on be used to actually calculate the shipping prices. So I'm just going to say that this is going to be 2 kilos as an example. We can then actually also add variants. Now as you can see, I've actually added two different colors right here. First of all a green one and then actually also a brown one. And let's actually add variants for this so that the customer can choose between green and brown. You can do this by heading over to variants right here. Usually Shopify by default adds some category meta fields. Make sure to delete them for now. This isn't really that useful. If you do want to set this up, this is basically just custom individually added fields. I, will, I have a tutorial for that. I will leave you it down below. But for now, let's just focus on variants. Click on add options. And in this case, I'm going to add the color option. I'm going to leave the color name as color and as for the colors I'm going to add brown as well as green. Perfect. Let's actually click on done and then as this is a clothing related product I'm going to add another option called size and I'm going to add an S M M L XL. Let's click on done. And now we are going to have the option to actually also set an image for these variants. So in this case, I'm going to select this image right here for the brown variant. And then the green variant is going to represent this right here. We can then actually also set up the search engine listing, but this isn't too important right now. Once you're ready, simply just click on save. One thing which you will have to check, however, make sure that the status is set as active. However, this should be the case by default. You can then actually under product organization, also change the type, the vendor and the collections. What is important for this? Well, if you do plan on having quite a lot of products, make sure to accurately add tags onto everything and make sure to actually also change the store name right here. Or I'm just going to add, an, uh, add the vendor running because this is from the running store. Make sure to check them out. So I'm just going to click on save and we can then actually preview this by clicking on preview. 
this is going to be how it is going to look like. Of course, you can also change the theme. This is just the default theme and I haven't changed anything, but you can basically change the color, you can change the size and so on. And this is going to individually change the picture based on what you are going to choose. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to further customize your store, make sure to add collections so that it is easier for your customers to actually navigate through the products. I will add you a tutorial on screen right now to do so.